You know what? In 10 years of rotting in front of a TV playing COD, I can't think of any other noise that gives me the same elation, the same amount of satisfaction and euphoria, and that little tingle up my spine as this noise. Tactical nuke incoming, it's over. Yes, it's over. Thank God for that. You should follow that up with, here you go, you swines. This is for all the quick scoping, noob tubing, one man army, commando lunging, <laughs> camping. Blah. So we'll, um, we'll have the gameplay leading up to that wonderful moment as I talk about nukes, moabs, and sort of game ending streaks, the game ender, if you like. Um, I wonder if there is going to be anything this year, and I really hope there is, because I feel personally as if the the, the nukes, the nuked outs and all that, they've kind of got worse. You know, it started off Modern Warfare 2 as the first time we saw the nuke, and it just career-ended the whole thing, you know, it ended the game. You could, um, I used to be sneaky and I used to be a, a bit naughty really, you know, we'd be playing, we'd be getting ruled out in domination and I'd be racking up those kills and I'd get the nuke and I would hold it right till the very last second as we were just about to lose a game of domination, 198 for, I don't know, 120 and literally just another split second and we've lost that game and I'd call the nuke in and that would cancel everything and we would end up having the victory. Um, I don't know why I did that, but it was just, it was a titillation for me, you know, it was something to sort of stick the middle finger up at the other team and say, <laughs> you thought you had that one in the bag? Well, you didn't. Um, <laughs> I had this one up my sleeve. But after Modern Warfare 2, we had Black Ops, which we never saw a game ending streak. Um, for the 25 to 30 kills, they, they got rid of it. And then with very much, I suppose, a sort of admittance of defeat, they had to bring it back. There was too much demand for it. People were going crazy. They got used to the nuke. They loved the nuke. So they brought it back in Modern Warfare 3 where we had the Moab and then we had, like, you know, DNA bombs and we've had um, chem strikes, which are equally quite the sort of terrifying sound of that chem strike being called in the siren. Might have been more people's cup of tea. Now, I feel that personally the the you know the game enders have got a little bit rubbish because they're not game enders anymore. They're just more about achievements, the nuked out, um, the unstoppable, and things in Black Ops 2. It, I don't know the the nuclears and things that I don't think they're very good. You know, there's no sort of devastating effect to it. Now it's just a, oh look, I've got one of those. At least with a nuke, when you got a nuke, people knew you had a nuke. So I think they've gone from. Being a sort of force to be reckoned with, something of respect, something of power, I achieved this, to uh, it's almost like they just ran out of ideas as to what they could put in, and now it's it's just gone down to a, a little weedy little thing that's like, mm, it's a new tape, and it's fun. No, I don't know. I would like to see a return of something in devastation. I mean, DNA Bomb, that was um, that was Sledgehammer, wasn't it? Wasn't that um, Advanced Warfare? So, you know, that that for me was kind of the last of it. That was the last we really saw of the big nuked out, um, the big nuked out streak. So I'd like to think that Sledgehammer, to add something else, obviously it's not going to be a nuclear, but I'd like them to think that they would bring back some kind of A-bomb, the big atom bomb. I mean, I haven't heard any, I've been sort of, I've been checking through everything, you know, this time around I'm sort of doing my homework a little bit because I want to find out more and I haven't seen anything anywhere that has any mention about any kind of bomb, big bomb at the end. But, you know, the historical relevance to the A-bomb, they might say, well, that's what you get to call in, you know, 25 kills. Um, I'd actually would like to see them bring back the, the 25 kill streak with the use of your streaks accompanying it along the way, you know, the same as they did in Modern Warfare 2, because after Modern Warfare 2 they stopped doing that and it was all down to gun kills, which is fine, but um, I think for the sake of the weaker players it was almost like, you know, people who weren't that good at the game where they couldn't rely on a streak, like this in the background, like the Pavlo and the Harriers, they just do work, they do so much of the work for me and that's why I use those streaks. You know, I'm not sort of championing myself and saying, look at this gameplay in the background, it's epic. You know, bow down, people. This is unbelievable. You'll never see gameplay like this. It's like most of my kills were acquired from my streaks. Most of the people playing free-for-all in Modern Warfare 2 are snipers, so they don't tend to carry around with them 
the uh, the secondary of the Stinger, they tend to have a couple of revolvers or magnums, that's the one. But if they wanted to go for historically accurate things, I think the A-bomb would have been the thing to use. I don't know, what do you think? Game ending streak, what do you think it should be? And do you think they should have one? Do you think the kill streak should help it along the way? Or would you rather it be just a little badge that says, Oh, unstoppable, you did well. Well done on your <laughs> well done on your endeavours. Here's a here's a badge to say unstoppable. And then get another kill and it's like, oh unstoppable again. Well done. Now for me. I like things that go boom. So thanks for watching guys. Take care. Much love. Apocalypse done. <laughs>